So I'm back in Australia, back in uh, a town called Ararat in regional Victoria, about oh, two and a half, three hours from Melbourne, west of Melbourne. Um, it's where I grew up. I just want to show you one of my favourite parts, Mount Langy Drain. So this is a, a, a very special place to me. Um, Imagine there was proof that the Aboriginals would actually camp um, in this, this rock shelter. There was proof that they had fires there and whatever, and there's also some artwork here. Um, what's interesting in, in, in this region is that uh, I've researched the history, and within 10 years, um, the Western District of Victoria, there were about 3,000 Aboriginals living a nomadic lifestyle. Within 10 years, there were there were 300. Um, they were wiped out by disease. Uh, there were massacres. Um, it was such a quick loss of culture that we don't know what these paintings mean. For me, personally, I don't know the song lines of my birthplace. Uh, the culture was destroyed so quickly that the stories, the song lines of, of, this, of this landscape, of, of uh, how it formed, have been lost, which is a, a great shame for me. Uh, that, that all that mythology has been lost. Um, Langy Durang stands for the home of the black cockatoo, so that's, that's all we know. Now we're heading off the track. I'm going to head up the mountain and try and find Eagle's Lair. I haven't been there for a long time. Um, we'll see if we can find it and hopefully we'll see some, some uh, wedge-tailed eagles, which are amazing to see up close. starting the ascent up to Eagle's Lair. And it's important when you are in the Australian bush, we have some fairly deadly snakes. So you learn to watch where you stand. And it's very important to, um, when you're walking, just to watch where you put your feet. Um, this is a pretty good time of year. We're heading into, into autumn. Um, there's still maybe snakes around. Uh, they'll be a bit sleepy, but no, you don't, don't want to step on them. So just be aware where you put your feet. Now the other thing is walking through the bush. If you um, observe the bush, the bush will reveal its secrets to you. And you'll, you can follow animal tracks. Uh, it's a bit like life really, observe and you'll learn. So yeah, you can make it easy on yourself if you just look out for animal tracks. But um, the Australian bush, when it's, it's just, we've just had a bit of rain, and the smell is just beautiful. The smell of eucalyptus, the smell of gum trees. It's, um, it's really nice. Ah, there's a wallaby right in front of me. Now, you may not be able to see that. Let me just zoom in. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. Can you see him there? Look at that. Now, if you do keep your eyes open, as I said, the bush will reveal its secrets to you. Look at that, he's thinking, what the hell are you doing? I could hear you a mile off, huffing and puffing. Look at that, he's just having a feed, he's not worried about me. I think I'm at Eagle's Lair, um, but unfortunately, no eagles. Yeah, I'd been up here a number of times, and each time I'd seen a pair of wedge-tailed eagles, and it was sort of fairly special to, to see that. They're not all that common. But not today, unfortunately. But still, have a look out there. It's beautiful. I remember many years ago, I was, re I was in Hawaii and I was reading a book called The Celestine Prophecy. And the author talked about that a mountain 
uh, a virgin mountain, so a mountain with forest or uncleared, was the most powerful place to meditate. And I took that on board when I was in Hawaii, and I, much as I did today, I climbed this mountain in Hawaii, and there was beautiful uh, jungle behind me and the sea in front of me. It was a, a beautiful setting, beautiful setting. And, I, you know, as, as that today, you climb and you get all that, that runner's high of, of the activity, and then you sit up here and you're just at one with nature and just feeling a sense of achievement and the beautiful view. And, and I sat there and I... At the time, I was right into surfing, and I, I, I meditated, and, and I, I, I thought, I came to the conclusion that, Mark, you can do anything you want to do. If you still want to be a pro surfer, you just got to put your thoughts and your energy into doing that, and you can still do that. I didn't become a pro surfer, but it was an important lesson in the, the, the reality that our thoughts make our world. And... Um, you know, I've had, a, I've had a pretty good run the last nearly two years. I've been gallivanting the world, making videos, more videos to come, making income from a passive income, an online income. I mean, it's, I've had a great run, really. And, but I have, coming back to Australia, there is a sense of disappointment. Um, and also, I think, a sense of not fitting in. I mean, I'm in a country town now where I grew up, and I haven't been here for a number of years, and, and it's... Um, so it hasn't been such a wonderful experience coming back to Australia and also the reason coming back to Australia, my, my dad being well, uh, uh, unwell, but he's, he's coming good. He'll be out of hospital tomorrow. Um, so I really needed to, um, I, I wanted to share with you today a part of where I live, but for me also, this is something I really needed to do. I needed to come up here and really think about, all right, uh, plans have changed. Where to next? Because it's a it's a bloody great great lifestyle. <laughs> Travelling the globe, making videos. I mean, really, it's fantastic. I can't think of anything else I want to do. How can I get, how can I go back to nine to five after living the life that I've lived for the last you know nearly two years? I mean, there's things that I I don't like about it. I mean, gee, I'd love to be sharing that experience with a wonderful woman. But that, you know, that could have come, would have come, probably. <laughs> Still not too old. But um, so I, I wanted to really come up here and, and um, just sit here and be alone with my thoughts and try and get my thoughts right. Because since I've been back, I haven't been terribly, uh, you know, it's, it's been disappointing for me and, and um, a little bit of sense of failure um, that I wasn't... Uh, making as much money as I could have in Australia on the road. And um, so I've been dealing with all that and uh, also dealing with a sickness in the family. Uh, and so I wanted to come up here to get my thoughts right. And so thank you for joining me on this, this little trip. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my little part of the backyard. But it's, I think it's an important thing to do every now and then, just to get away, to get in nature and just be at one with your thoughts and just just work out where you're going next and that's what I'm doing now so, so thank you for joining me on this little video all right more videos to come <laughs>